Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. It's a week two in the NFL. Sitting next to me, brand new guest handicapper, Mike Brenner, who, uh, you know, if you, our regular viewers know, this guy gave us two picks last week. Both of them were winners. Pretty impressive start. We'll give you a handshake. We, sh we shook your hand in the, in the first video we did. We're going to shake it again. Thank you, you know, Pete. just two games. Very yeah. nice. Does that surprise you? Were you expecting to give winners? Or uh, what's, your, what's, your, what's your impression of your success first week with us? Well, actually, I, I find balance in this. I don't get too excited when I win, and I don't get down right. you know, when Good. the games don't cover because Good. that's the nature of the beast. But felt very confident with the picks last week going into the uh, uh, to, to Sunday, and I uh, feel just as good this week as well. Easy, easier said than done, though. Yes, this Pride is true. goeth before the fall, Mike absolutely, Brenner. Absolutely, absolutely. And especially Pete. when it comes to sports betting. That's right. Pride <laughs> goeth before the fall. We all know that to be true. All right, the Rams and Redskins is the second game you want to cover with us. Right now, the Redskins are a three-and-a-half point home underdog, and that's been bet up from three, yes. right? So the opener was three. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's three and a half. Was that sharp action or public action? I'm guessing public action. You uh, know the, yeah. The yeah, public, I think it is, too. Yeah. I think it's public action. Especially with the Rams um, having beaten Seattle last week. And I will talk to Brent from BetDSI tomorrow, mm -hmm. so you can tune in to find out specifically if there was a sharp action uh, or public action that came in on this game. But right now it's Redskins plus three and a half. The total is 41, and that's been bet down from 42, I don't know. My sense is that at some point the Redskins are going to have some value that there's going to be an overreaction against them. Mike Brenner, what would you recommend we do here? I like this pick for several reasons, and what I like on this is the full game minus three and a half. Uh, I agree, too, that the public action is what, what you know, pushed that lineup. Uh, I just think the Jeff Fisher factor plays huge into this game. Uh, th this team has bought into what he's selling. They absolutely showed up against Seattle. Yes, they gave up some points, but you're talking about Seattle Seahawks, okay? They have a dynamic offense. Uh, this defense will shut Washington down. I just don't see Washington finding any groove. Uh, I think that's a team looking for an identity. I think the coach has absolutely not even won that locker room. His players don't necessarily, in my opinion, believe in him right now. So I think uh, uh, the Rams are going to come off of that big win against Seattle with a lot of momentum, a lot of confidence, and their defense is just absolutely going to show up. I'm looking for a, a maybe, possibly a shutout. If not, I think at least a 10-point uh, margin of victory here for, for the Rams. Wow. So, uh, so then you would also probably lean towards uh, the Redskins team total under then? I probably would. All yes. right. And you would prefer a bet on the Rams than the under? Yes, absolutely. Mike absolutely. Brenner has spoken. The line has gone up. Three and a half is a kind of a tough, kind of a scary uh, road favorite line to take in the NFL. You know that, Mike Brenner, yes. right? Yes, I do. Very scary. You're a little bit scared? Yeah. You're not scared? Uh, I, don't, I don't really believe in fear, but there is that, wow. you know, just that little factor of acceptance if it does happen. So I like yes. to look at it that way and just stay confident and uh, let's go get them. Not being governed by fear is an element, key element of success in life. I, even at my advanced age, I'm still <laughs> primarily governed by fear, and yeah. that is the basis of many of my personal problems in life. Mike Brenner obviously is not felled by that. Like in St. Louis, minus three and a half. Mike Brenner, we'll see how this turns out. Talk to you next week. Okay, Pete, look forward to it. Thanks a lot.